Hi all, this is Team Rail Rovers. We are working on problem statement 1319 provided by the Coal Ministry as part of the Smart India Hackathon. The problem statement is forecasting and scheduling of railway rakes for coal transportation such that the demurrage cost incurred at the railway sidings is minimized. In order to better understand the problem statement, I'll give you an overview of the things that take place. Let's say a company, a subsidiary of the coal ministry, has to transport X quantity of coal from location A to B. Then the company places an order of Y number of rakes for moving from location A to B. Now the company has to pay certain freight charges to the Indian Railways for the same. In exchange, the Indian Railway grants the company X number of rakes plus some free time allowed for loading and unloading of cargo at the railway siding. If the company exceeds the free time allowed for loading or unloading, demurrage is paid as applicable. Demurrage cost is the penalty incurred when the railway rakes are detained at the sidings for longer than the allowed free time. Here is a snapshot taken from a government circular on demurrage costs and it can be seen that as the detention time increases, the demurrage cost increases as a percentage of the base rate. Poor scheduling of rakes results in their detention at the sidings and thus the company has to pay enormous amounts of money as demurrage charges. To understand the gravity of this problem, let's look at the case of the Eastern Coal Fields Limited, a subsidiary of the Coal India Limited. This company paid Rs 10.19 crores to the railways towards demurrage charges from 2003 to 2006. However, no amount was recovered from the contractors who were supposed to pay this demurrage cost as they were actually responsible for causing the delays in the coal loading process. Every year, the coal companies face massive losses due to the detention of railway rakes at the sidings and in our proposed solution, we will try to address this problem. Here's a detailed flowchart that we have prepared based on which scheduling and forecasting of the rakes will be done at the sidings. Once a request has been initiated by the company for loading rakes at a particular station, the system will generate a queue of the neighboring sidings in priority of the distance from the dispatch station. We iteratively select the next nearest siding S from the priority queue. For each siding, we check if the required quantity and grade of coal is available there. If not, we do this for the next nearest siding and so on. If it so happens that all the neighboring sidings have been checked but none of them have the required coal quantity and grade, the system lodges a request for the same and the company will be notified once it becomes available. Now, if once we see that the required quantity and grade of coal is available at a siding, we also check for any alarms that may have been raised by the siding operator due to abnormalities in the loading operations such as breakdown of machinery, extreme weather conditions, or labor strikes. In such a case, manual intervention would be necessary. Considering the operational status of the siding is active and normal, we calculate an estimate of the loading time of coal onto the rakes based on the historical data. This is the forecasting element of the solution. Next, we schedule this loading request for the earliest available time slot and update the inventory available at siding S. Once the rakes are loaded, the details of the same are logged onto the system for information collection purposes and our request has been deemed complete. This algorithm has been proposed by taking multiple assumptions where the exact information about the on-ground procedures was not available. One of the assumptions is that there exist multiple neighboring sidings near a station and if that is not the case, the above algorithm can be modified accordingly. We have also prepared an extensive user interface prototype of the proposed web portal that I will now demonstrate. First, we select our user type from siding operator, mine manager and company. Let's proceed with the company user persona right now. We enter the credentials and log into the system. The first thing here is the dashboard for the company where you can see the total pending orders, active orders and the total completed orders. There is a system of proactive notifications to ease communication among stakeholders. We can also check the specific details for each of these orders. In the completed orders table, you can see the siding ID at which the rakes were loaded, the quantity and grade of the coal, the date on which the order was initiated, and the date the order was actually completed and the actual loading time that was taken. In case the loading time is greater than 6 hours, which is the allowed free time assumed in this case, a demurrage cost is incurred to the company. Whereas in the active orders list, 
which is a list of the requests scheduled ahead, the status and estimated loading time is provided. For the pending orders list, the estimated waiting time has been shown. Now, if the company wants to place a new order, we can move to the new order tab and input all the necessary details, such as the quantity and grade of coal required and the source and destination of this coal. Once we place this request, the request process is initiated and this request is added to the pending orders list. Once a siding operator accepts the request, it will move to the active request list. Now, let's see what the user interface is like from the point of view of the sidings operator. Let's log into the system and now we're looking at the dashboard that shows us the list of siding IDs, name, grade and quantity of coal available at each and the stock status and trend as well. If we select a particular siding, we can view more details about it, such as the operational status, inventory details, whether manual or me mechanized loading is available and the contact details of the siding manager. If the stock status is insufficient at the siding, we can also lodge a request to the mines manager using the refill button. Now let's select the scheduling tab from the sidebar. We can now see a list of all the scheduling requests that have been made. The sidings operator can click on the schedule but button, verify the details and approve this particular request. Once the request is scheduled, it is moved to the active schedules tab and its progress can be tracked from here. We have tried to make our prototype as intuitive as possible while keeping in mind the objectives of each of the stakeholder involved. This is our very first draft of the user interface and has high potential for refinement. Our proposed solution, which consists of the scheduling algorithm and the prototype for the web portal is based on extensive research. We have compiled all of it into one big document that is attached with the submitted solution and I will now give a quick overview of it. This entire research document is actually divided into three parts. One major chunk is the research, the next is the proposed solution abstract, and the last is a glossary of the common terminology. Our research consists of multiple facets, such as information obtained from the on-ground situations from current Indian Railways employee, determining the current state of operations in coal transportation, understanding the freight info operations information system used by the Indian Railways, reading research literature based on similar problems, understanding the loading and unloading operating systems, reading real-life case studies, and understanding how demurrage costs are levied. Overall, we believe our proposed solution is very well researched and has much potential to help solve the challenges currently faced during the forecasting and scheduling of railway rigs. Thank you.